the part of me that concedes, yes, a hot dog is a sandwich, is also going, yes, salt is a gemstone. We got a bit of a different episode today. We've got like a debate. And uh, okay, some of you it. may not know Sarah. Sarah is one of our producers. Hi. But, well, let's just get to it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to give you a couple of facts. Okay. And with these facts... We want to determine whether or not this thing that I am talking about is a gemstone or not. All right? Okay. Will it yeah. will it gem? Will it gem? This thing has a distinct chemical formula. All right? Okay. This thing is known by two names. This thing comes in multiple colors. It's found in pink. It's found in black sometimes. It's found in white. Okay. All right. This thing has a place on the Mohs scale of hardness. Okay. I feel like it could apply to a gemstone, but it could also apply, could apply to, to a ton of stuff. most things. Yeah. 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 But right off the cuff, if you didn't have time to think about this really like for a long time, would you say, yeah, sounds like a gemstone? I think if I was feeling generous on the day, I'd say like, yeah, sure, let's yeah. let's okay. say I, it's a gemstone and then move forward. I yeah. think because this is gemstones.com, I feel like it's probably a gemstone. <laughs> Some good but, context clues. Good instinct. But yeah. if it wasn't gemstones.com, I would probably just okay. say yeah. no. Well, I have described to you salt. <laughs> well. I have described to you salt. <laughs> okay. Um, salt is sodium chloride. Yeah. It's got NACL. a single, single chemical mm -hmm. composition. Yeah. It is cubic. It grows in the cubic crystal system. It's problematic. Mm -hmm. um, it has three planes of cleavage because it is in that cube. We got one plane, two plane, three plane. It is also known as halite. You've heard halite before. So that we, sounds yeah. like a gemstone. We don't name. generally yeah. associate halite with salt. Probably no. You don't take a block of halite and like microplane it over your yeah. food. Yeah. <laughs> um, you? That is. I'll the, give it a go. I honestly, <laughs> I'll try it. I mean, that you is just a funny. Like, Take a Great, cheese grater, halite. yeah. Halite was, it was coined in the 18th century by a German mm. mineralogist, uh, Abraham Werner. He wanted to create a more specific term for sodium chloride in general. Okay. But that is not what this is about. This is about, <laughs> is salt a gemstone? And we're going to go into the <laughs> definitions of a gemstone. This is like the, is a hot dog a sandwich yeah. thing. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess, but so, do you really want to go down that path? I think for fun, it is a gemstone. Yeah, that's what I'm talking I about. I mean. All right. So, like, yeah, it's a sandwich. All right, let's call it. <laughs> it's singly refractive since it's in the cubic crystal system. Mm -hmm. I'm troubled by this. It's in a crystal system. It has cleavage. It has all of the the aspects, the, the physical properties we typically associate with gemstones. Like when we go, when we test a, a colorless quartz on the polariscope, we spin it around. Yeah. See if it's double, singly or doubly refractive. This would give a reading on a polariscope, mm -hmm. on a gemological tool. Your boots would not. Your boots would not, yeah. Why? Because they don't refract light. light. <laughs> we can't even say that because not all gemstones will refract light. Some are completely so... opaque. So. Get the boots out. No. Salt a gemstone? Yes. For fun. We have a for fun answer. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be the, the no fun answer. I'm going to say no. Okay. Not a gemstone. That's fair. You For could, sure this a is mineral, debate. but not a gemstone. What do you say? Oh, I can't have an opinion. I'm the moderator. <laughs> Pop out. <laughs> I know you have an opinion, and I know it's yes. <laughs> Gemology is a relatively new science. It mm -hmm. was founded mm -hmm. in the late 19th century. Prior to that, gemology was mostly based in superstition and folklore. So we're just now getting, like, in the term of human existence. This is really new mm -hmm. a lot of rules aren't really set in stone merriam webster defines the word gemstone mm -hmm. as a noun a mineral or petrified material that when cut and polished can be used in jewelry also something resembling a gemstone in its beauty or rarity which first of you, all you can't, you can't use can't. gemstone in the definition yeah. of gem come on merriam but and this, or webster all right this kind of set be better pull from the first part of that we get a mineral or petrified material that when cut and polished and polished we're going to get into legal wording here so cut okay well. but define polished man has made this thing from not shiny to shiny yeah uh, like a, a high but, so grains of, of salt i would say the, are kind of shiny but could they could they be polished 
I you think? A big enough one. If sure. you put it to a diamond lap at a very fine grit, oh, it would. You think it would? Well, move? it would start to disintegrate. It's two and a half, right? But everything does once it's put to a diamond grit, right? I suppose that's you put fair. Put garnet to it. Garnet disintegrates. The next one is the Gemological Association of Great Britain. A gemstone is a mineral or organic material which possesses beauty, durability, and rarity. It is typically used for personal adornment or to create decorative pieces. So we've got three key words in there. Beauty, durability, rarity. Oh. Pink salt. It's pretty. rarer. Beauty. Rare, pretty. And I have seen, like, you get, like, lamps. yeah, salt lamps. And lamps. Decor oh, for your home. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Let's jump across the pond to okay. GIA. Give me some precise the, wording. The Gemological Institute of America says that a gemstone is a mineral, rock, or organic material now used we're talking. for personal adornment, display, or object of art because it possesses beauty, rarity, and durability. Th those three words again. The last one comes from good old Wikipedia. A gemstone. <laughs> also called a gem, fine gem, jewel, precious stone, or semi-precious stone, is a piece of mineral crystal, which mm. in cut and polished form is used to make jewelry or other adornments. We've got four pretty different There's a lot takes, of overlap. Right? Uh, yeah, they're different, but there's a lot of overlap. So you've got what the world says so far on it. We're gonna go to our next. And I'm just going to tell you what I'm talking about right off the get go. Is sugar a gemstone? <laughs> so sugar is made by organic processes. And have you ever seen honey like that's been sitting in the shelf too long? Mm -hmm. It starts getting a little. It does crystallize. Crystalline. So what kind of sugar are we talking about? Because there's different kinds of sugar. There's... Just the sucrose. So it's made by organic processes like amber. Yeah. It is crystal. It, it is crystalline. Yeah. Sugar has a refractive index <laughs> of 1.333. And when we're talking about refractive index, it's a gemological term used to identify lots of gemstones. It's supposed to be the last tool you use, but it's a defining tool. Yeah. All gemstones refract light at a different rate. What crystal system do you think sugar forms in? I, so I don't think it's one of the order, like I don't think it's hexagonal, oh. or trigonal. Uh, is it tetragonal? It actually is a pretty cool crystal habit because it's in the monoclinic crystal system. I know everyone here has probably seen rock crystal candy on a stick. Mm -hmm. If you get oh, really yeah. up close to that, you may oh. look like cubes, but if you get if you pay extra attention, you'll see you'll see sharp edges, but you'll also kind of see a roof in some of them. Kind of like how like uh, tanzanite has that roof on in the top of it kind of makes oh, a it comes up to a taper yeah. yeah okay it just depends on the size it is monoclinic and therefore it's doubly refractive as well so if you get clear crystal sugar mm. on a polariscope and twist it it'll go light dark four times in 360 degree rotation mm. so it is readable and it will give a result on a polariscope a gemological tool that's crazy Sounds like a gemstone to me. Sounds like a gemstone. The thing that we're not addressing is the durability part of the definition. Like if you if you left your halite ring or your sugar ring on in the shower, it would be gone by so the, the time you stepped out. Correct. So that I think is not so an you're outright touching. disqualifier, but like that is important so you mm. are kind of bending there on the stability of sugar is very low and salt yeah. because i would kind of consider h2o attacking the chemical composition of sugar as being a chemical attack yeah and in the you, shower it's I mean, hot if you so. bake it, it yeah but also if, you, if yeah, you put yeah. the wrong kind of cleaner on peridot it also it dulls it uh if you put yeah. pearls into vinegar they dissolve, mm -hmm. is sugar a gemstone? Again, for fun, yes, but I don't know anything, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking personal responsibility to be the reasonable one yeah. here, and I'm gonna say no, sugar, and by extension, salt are not gemstones. The durability Dur is mm -hmm. a real factor for yeah. me. Also, sugar doesn't really occur in large 
sizes. Halite does. I've seen Halite that's That, that you know, is a good big. point you actually mentioned, and one of the things I came across in my research mentioned that sugar comes to us mainly through a refined process. Uh -huh. It has to be refined from plants mm -hmm. to get to us. And it doesn't, it doesn't occur naturally in a geological sense. Mm. Yeah, okay, that's a good point. Yeah, like I, I don't think you could adorn yourself with sugar. There are literally candy necklaces. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. Don't <laughs> don't entertain that. Have you heard of a ring pop? Oh that god. is polished and you adorn it. Oh my god, you're so right. <laughs> and it is in the shape of a gem. Well, this next one is a is a thinker. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna come right out with it. Is ice. I was going to ask you that. No. Is ice a gemstone? Ah. It is naturally occurring. Yep. Mm -hmm. It can have a myriad of inclusions. Yeah. Like sure. emeralds. It has a... Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, exactly. It has a distinct chemical composition, H2O. H2O. Mm -hmm. That forms, when crystallized, into a hexagonal crystal ice is in the hexagonal crystal hexagonal system? crystal system and it makes sense it made sense when i was looking this up imagine a picture of a snowflake it's usually oh, like this it does have a ton of patterns but it is if you draw base. a line from each point it makes a hexagon all of them they all make a hexagon it is often carved ice Brother. carvers it is a uh, doubly refractive since it's in the hexagonal crystal system it has a refractive index of 1.310 Given all that information, is ice a gemstone? I think if I'm calling on durability to, to discount sugar and salt, okay. then ice is even worse because mm. it's completely unstable at most temperatures. But who's like to Earth. say, I will go as far as say you could even facet ice if you're That's in the true. right conditions. If you're in a deep freeze cooler, we also refer to water as being an inclusion in other gemstones. That's true. With as a liquid, other crystals. <laughs> yes. As a liquid. As a, but if it froze, then it would. So there's ice in there. It would be. There's a gem of ice in here. That's an interesting question. What if you took like an in hydro mm -hmm. and threw it in froze. the freezer? First of all, it but might fracture. If but. we're gonna say that. If it's an inclusion, it's a gemstone. Wasn't the whole point of Jurassic Park that there was a mosquito <laughs> in the amber? Keep going. There's a big. That was a big. Plot and point. so is a mosquito a gemstone? If it's in, an inclusion in amber? No. Well, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> this is why I said no from the get go. So, hmm. ice. Obviously, the fun answer is yes, but it, this <laughs> one's a stretch for me. Uh, why is that? Because it's it's ice. It melts it, <laughs> pretty yeah. much immediately. But what if it does? Well, I'm not talking. So when ice melts, it's not ice anymore. It's water. Mm -hmm. So that's off the question. Wait, are you saying that ice doesn't actually melt? It just becomes water. <laughs> it's not what I said. <laughs> I mean, if you're going back to your original, for the last two, beauty, I would say it's beautiful. You know what? Before refrigeration, ice would have been quite rare. Rare. Naturally, yeah, I guess it is. Two rare. areas where, yeah, like our yeah. our grandparents could probably tell us about the ice man delivering ice blocks and putting and it in the ice box. And they had yeah. chiseled it and yeah. making it last they for like a week. They chiseled it. They chiseled it. They did. Is there synthetic ice? Yes, because when you watch somebody in a movie drinking something, they're probably not. It's probably not ice. Is plastic. That's right, movie props. It's imitated. And plastic is a gemstone simulant anyways. People use for beverages they don't want to water down, they use some stones. A cold rock, yeah. Uh, what, whiskey stones. Whiskey on the rocks refers to oh. back in Scotland <laughs> before- It's a rock. Before they had ice, they would go up into the, the mountain and get cold river rocks to put in their whiskey. Mm -hmm. So ice is simulated in many ways. Mm. Mm, yeah. But not as a gemstone for its purpose as the difference. No, I, well, I'm trying to think like if, if we were in a, a habitat or a climate that was like perpetually could sustain ice in its solid form, maybe it would be a gemstone. Okay. 
question. Uh oh. Answer. So in the SGR, there's a bit about sandstone. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you could hypothetically, and I think people have made houses out of sandstone. Okay. <laughs> and in the Arctic, <laughs> people do Rob's build Canada. homes out of ice. What was it? People do build homes out of ice. They do. They build igloos. Igloos, bro. I don't think is ice a gemstone, bro. <laughs> I'm having trouble. <laughs> I'm having trouble with the ice one. I feel like I had this debate with Rebecca a few years ago. I can't allow ice to be a gemstone. It ticks some of the boxes, but it does not tick the bro really box <laughs> for me. Bro, yeah, really? I mean, again, f for fun, yes. But I think in practice, in practice. I, I really don't think it is. This was a fun debate. I need this debate to continue in the comments, though. Yeah. Yes. Thank you guys so much for your opinions. This is mm -hmm. such a Preston question. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Is salt a gemstone? Is sugar a gemstone? And is ice a gemstone? We would love to see what the general consensus is. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. See you next time.